In 2009, five agencies came together here in Omaha. Child Saving Institute, Boys Town, Omni Behavioral Health, Heartland Family Service, and Nebraska Family Support Network. And they created Nebraska Families Collaborative. It was in response to an initiative that the state of Nebraska was doing at the time where we were going to become a public-private partnership with the state of Nebraska to do child welfare and juvenile justice services. Basically what we do is we, we look at every child and every family and we basically wrap around that child and family whatever they need in order for them to be successful. And building on those strengths, it really helps them build the confidence that they need to, to be successful adults. To see a youth light up when you tell them they did a good job and that they are making something of themselves from building on those strengths, it's just, it's amazing to see that, that change from a, a shy person who coming in to, to one that talks to, to the unicameral at Lincoln. I was put in foster care, I distinctly remember the last day of school, my eighth grade year. I was sitting in my homeroom, which was my math class, and my name was over the intercom asking me to go to the office. And then he started asking me questions about my stepdad, my mom, and I was just like, oh great, like, here it goes. It happened so fast that it was sort of unreal, it was almost like a dream. And uh, got put into a backseat of a police officer's car. It was really embarrassing because a whole bunch of my classmates, it was like in front of the whole entire eighth grade. But somehow my mom found out I was at the Jefferson house and she called just, you know, asking me, you know, why did you do this, Christy? You know, why, you know, is this true? And where are you? And, you know, trying to talk to your mom when she's like crying hysterically, it's really hard. And it's the type of thing where it's like my whole entire, it's, it has happened to me since I was three till I was 13, so 10 years. So 10 years of it going on, it's sort of hard trying to t explain to your mom when you're that young, like, hey mom, this is what's going on. I was in foster care for five years. Um, in the five years, I have gone to four different homes. The hardest thing about being in foster care was the constant change of everything. The way I was raised in each foster home, I just sort of became more independent. Between the ages of 18 and 19, I moved out on my own and started a college. I am now attending Southeast Community College in Lincoln, and my plan is right now is to uh, go into nursing. I'm a single mother of four. I work hard to get my kids where they need to be. I educate my kids the best I can. I love them with all my heart and I would do anything to keep them happy. With my daughter, she went to the school and told the school that my boyfriend at the time had beat her 99 times and once with the bell buckle. And they were stating that they had bruises on them and they went to the school and took the kids from the school. When they told me, I cried and I cried. I mean, it was like taking a life from me. Like, it was something I would never want to see happen again to anyone. If I can change anything, I would change that point in my life to do something differently. In order for me to get my kids back, I had to go to anger management, parenting classes to actually do things differently. I had to get a job and make sure that I had the job to take care of the kids and do what I need to do. And I've been at my job for almost a year now, which is a blessing. I'm glad I got it. It wasn't easy. I had to go to therapy. I got them back March 1st of 2012, and I got custody back in June 7th of 2012. That was the best day of my life. With NFC, I never actually got any negative. I always have gotten positive responses from them. They made sure that I actually had everything I needed. They made sure the judge knew everything. They wrote everything down. I mean, NFC is wonderful. It strengthens me to be a better mother to my children. And it strengthens me to the point to where I actually want to go back to school and work to show them, no matter how old you are, you can get an education. 
you can get wherever you want to be in life. What I found is that if we believe in others, um, sometimes they don't believe in themselves, but if we're optimistic and we think that people really can uh, heal and grow and change, um, the amazing thing is, is that frequently that's the case. And so um, just to be tremendously optimistic about the kids and the families that we work with because they can do amazing things. That's, that's our role here is to kind of help empower families. Um, to give them the tools they need to be able to care for their children. We want um, children to go back to their families whenever that's possible, and so the majority of kids who come into the system go back to their families, which is great. Um, if they can't go back to their family of origin, then we want them to be in a permanent family. NNC has done a lot of, a lot of um, work on improving our efforts to find families for children that come into care. And it's really been successful. I mean, we've had had grandmothers who haven't didn't know what happened to their grandchildren call us and say, "I got your letter." I said, like I haven't seen my grandson since he was two and crying. And um, really cool things have happened. So I'm really excited about that. Nobody wanted this kid because of the way they worded him, and so we worked really hard at just trying to help change the way he was portrayed on paper. Um, so we did that and he came through again uh, for a referral. My friend came up to me and I just said, I'll just take him, I'll take him. So I took him and um, when he came to my house, I just remember thinking, there's no way this kid is ever gonna leave. And so he just stayed there. After about a year and a half, I was contacted by the caseworker for emer emergency placement for his brother. He ended up just staying with us and um, I adopted both of them. I think I smile a lot more than I used to. Uh, they, just, they just are my joy. I can't even describe it. I, I would not do it any other way. I think one of the most uh, predominant problems that I think any system faces, but especially our system with child welfare, is just knowing that communication is very high amongst the systems. What can happen is a child can linger in care. You know, you might say, why, why is this child in care for 10 years? Or why is this child in care for eight years? And things should have been done a long time ago. I mean, there are kind of like markers to make sure that children aren't in care, hopefully for longer than two years. But on the other hand, things could happen where children just kind of go through the system and don't ever get out. Kids grow up so quickly. And even though a year or two years to an adult might not seem like a very long time, for a child in the system, a day is a very long time. So it's important to really be organized in the job because there's so much information coming in and going out. Um, to, to make sure that you have a good handle on it, um, but also just because the decisions and, and everything that we do every day impacts people's lives and um, we want to make sure that the impact that we're making is a positive one. You mustn't walk away from those discouraging moments. Excuse me. You know, if you really love children, you can't give up on them. And if you love people, you can't give up on them. Now some people test us all the time. And so I always say to my students, you know, ask for patience, pray for patience, because you're going to need it. A lot of times we're sitting with um, children and families who are in pain, and so there's um, it's not always easy to do that. It's hard to see other people in pain, and this kind of work, you see that on a daily basis. And so the new employee was asking me, well then, you know, why have you done this for so long? Because it, it's not easy work. Um, and I would say, you know, that I love my job, and the reason that I love it is because um, the majority of kids and families do get better. And it's an amazing thing to see um, a child and family be successful and a parent get their children back and seeing their life going in a positive direction, that's an amazing thing. 